which is the one that shows this, this inbreeding. Then there were the Denisovans, maybe around 50,000 years ago, the Neanderthal a bit further back, and then there were modern humans soon after. So this was a, it's a fascinating site. And of course, you know, Parvo and his team were not expecting, um, they, they were expecting a Neanderthal, in fact, because Neanderthal DNA had been found in neighboring caves. So they were not expecting something completely different. And we know there are other fragmentary fossils in the site, and I'm sure Palmer and his team are working on those, and we can expect more data. But of course, more sites will be important. And what's interesting, as I've said, is that it looks like the interbreeding happened in Southeast Asia. So possibly even, even across Wallace Line. I wrote a paper with Alan Cooper last year in Science, where we argued, given where the interbreeding shows up today, that the Denisovans, like the Hobbit, from Florida's might have actually been, some of them were across the Wallace line, and it was there that the interbreeding happened uh, and was then taken further on to Australia and New Guinea. Now, again, preservation conditions aren't great down there, certainly not for DNA, but now um, techniques have been developed which control ancient genomes out of the modern genomes, and that's what showed this interbreeding in Africa. So, the interbreeding in Africa, so we, we haven't got a Heidelbergensis genome from Africa, but using sub-Saharan African DNA today showed that there was archaic DNA there now and people using these techniques are going to recover at least probably part of that archaic genome from sub-Saharan Africans. So by doing the same thing in New Guinea and Australia, you should be able to recover some of the <coughs> DNA from the Denisovans and partially reconstruct their genome. And Pavo's already on record, his team have said that the Denisovan that put the DNA to Australia and New Guineans of today was genetically different to the Denisovan and Denisovan came. So the Denisovans had population variation and the source of the DNA in Southeast Asia was distinct but related to the source in Siberia. Do you think there's a fossil in a drawer somewhere in Asia that um, could be right? Then? Yeah, I mean, Paolo and his team are looking at Chinese fossils, for example. So we've got Chinese fossils from 100,000, 200,000, 300, 400,000 years old. And He's already started to look. I think so far the results have not shown up anything, but it's my guess that some of those will turn out to be Denisovans, more complete individuals. But until we actually get the DNA combined with good morphology, we don't, 